guys follow up this tutorial to learn more about the available RDS instance types. You should know that Amazon RDS provides a selection of instance types that are optimized to fit different relational database use cases. Instance types comprise varying combinations of CPU, memory, storage, and networking capacity, and they provide you with the, flexi the flexibility to choose the appropriate mix of resources for your chosen database. Each and every single instance type includes several instance sizes, allowing you to scale your database to the requirements of your target workload. Not every instance type is supported for every database engine, version, edition, or region. Now let's start with the general purpose type of instances. We've got the T3, the T2, the M5, and the M4. Those instances are the next generation burstable gener general purpose instance types that provide a baseline level of CPU performance with the ability to burst CPU usage at any time for as long as required. Now for the memory optimized type of instances, we've got the R5, the R4, the X1E, the X1, and the Z1D. Those types of instances are the latest generation of memory optimized instances that deliver 5% additional memory per vCPU than R4 with the largest size providing 768 GIB of memory. In addition, R5 instances deliver a 10% price per GIB improvement and a 20% increased CPU performance over R4 instances. Now, for instance features, you should know that Amazon RDS database instances provide a number of additional features to help you deploy, manage, and scale your database workloads. They are burstable performance instances. They are database storage options that are provided for you. They've got EBS optimized instances. They give you enhanced networking in order to improve your work and make you flexible while changing and scaling your database as required. So guys, this is all you need to know about the available RDS instances and the type to choose from. So if you're going to have to click on create database, from there you will choose first off the engine that you want to create. And of course you select the type of database instance that you'd like to go with. Now from the uh, previously stated RDS instances, you're going to have to choose one of them and go with it according to your storage, your memory type, and how much workload you're going to be working with.